we have a good old fashioned haul <laughs> welcome back to the channel everyone the santa maria here and today we are doing a cumulative fragrance haul this is the latest fragrance purchases in my collection very excited oh and by the way happy halloween to all of those that celebrate very excited so i figured let's not end out the month with a good old fashioned fragrance haul i know my elves love that as always but before we do that elves you know what we must do first lipstick of the day everyone we're keeping it gloomy because it actually is gloomy and rainy outside this is the lipstick mac whirl get into it a very nice deep mauvey nude color i have it linked below for you to check out and i put a little bit of my fenty gloss bomb cream over it this is the shade mauve wives i've talked about this shade many a time on the channel and you can get it at sephora right now while it's on sale so I have to mention that. Next up, we have fragrance of the day. I wanted to keep it dark. I wanted to keep it gloomy. And this was just the perfect scent for this to me, in my opinion. And this is from MFK. This is Oud Satin Nude. This is so rich, dark, and decadent, and it's doing what it needs to do today. Again, Oud Satin Nude is your fragrance of the day from the house of Mason Francis Kirk John, MFK for short. All right, so now we've gotten that out of the way, let's get into this fragrance haul. The first fragrance I want to talk about, this is one I've been sitting on for a minute. I had mentioned this fragrance months and months and months ago. Totally different season when I first sampled this. I had received a sample from the brand and I said, oh, this is really, really good. And this is from the brand Maison Cire and the fragrance I fell in love with. This was a love at first sniff, you all. This is for your love. I kept my box just to share with you all. And here is the bottle. This is for your love by Maison Cire. This is how all the bottles come. Very nice, very chic. This is just a very sexy, airy raspberry in my opinion. I'm gonna spray a little bit of it because I wanna get reacquainted with it. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is so good. It's sweet, but musky and but airy at the same time. And it lasts. This is so elegant. Amazing Sear. I'm noticing more and more people are talking about it. But to be fair, this brand is now more readily available. Like I saw it in Neiman Marcus. I'm seeing it pop up in more places. I think even Bloomingdale's has it too. So it is more accessible. I have actually smelled other scents from the brand. But for me, For Your Love was the one that made me go, I need you right now. Full bottle worthy. Hence why I have a full bottle of it. So again, Amazing Sears For Your Love. I will be doing dedicated reviews on all of these fragrances. So just stay tuned for those dedicated reviews so i won't get too deep into notes and all that today the next fragrance we're going to talk about now you all know it's not a fragrance haul on this channel if there's not a bond in it somewhere or a bond is mentioned because i've been loving them this year and the next fragrance i have is from bond and this is bond number nine's queens i really like the box it's very textured very nice so let's get into it this is what it looks like i'm holding it up so it won't fall out and shatter <laughs> But yes, Bond number nine's Queens. You all know I like my 50 mils. That's how I do. So this scent, I actually smelled it. So this is not a blind buy. I have to say this. None of these are blind buys. All of these I either smelled in person while at counter or I had a sample sent to me either paid for or it came in like other orders, that type of thing. So yes, we are not blind buying. Yes, we are not doing that because blind buys are so risky and money just don't grow on trees. But anywho, what I like about Queens, you all, is this is just a very different take on tuberose. This is such a rich, thick, and syrupy type of tuberose, and it's fruity to me. Very, very nice. I didn't think I would like this one, because this is one of those bonds that's not talked about enough, in my opinion. But this is syrupy, sweet, but thick, and it makes a wonderful cold weather fragrance, in my opinion. Mm, this is sexy. This is really, really sexy. I'll talk more about it again in its own dedicated review. But yes, Bond number nine, Queens Elves. This is slept on. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Very, very sexy. The third fragrance is one I've actually already mentioned and talked about on the channel, but to keep it all together, I'm gonna bring it up again. And this is one I picked up while in New York, and this is from Wilhelm Parfumery, and this is Morning Chess, you all. I love this brand because they are very unique, and again, they are based out of New York, so that's why I got it. 
and here it is 50 mil that's what i like and something else i want to point out about the wilhelm perfumeries is that their their price isn't that bad to be sold in high-end department stores and whatnot because this bottle right here ran 150 like 150 dollars which you can spend that on traditional designer fragrance at sephora you see what i mean so i was like hmm, that's not bad so I just want to mention that because they carry a whole line of fragrances, which we're going to talk more about in a later video. But Morning Chest. Thing about this one is, this one definitely is unisex that leans masculine, but for me, it stood out because A, like I told you all in the previous video, I used to play chess, so that name stands out to me. But with this one, it's like a leathery, fresh pineapple. And normally me and pineapple scents do not get along, but for some reason, the dry down in this one works because it doesn't keep that sharpness up top too long for me. And the leather isn't so heavy and dense that it's too masculine. It's like both of them kind of blend together in a very unique way. And it just stood out to me, so yeah. Very much a cold weather, really winter scent but I like it. <laughs> and again, that is Morning Chess from Wilhelm Parfumery. Another thing that I picked up during this month is not a fragrance. In fact, it does not have any fragrance at all. And that's what I like about it. This is from the brand Ancient Cosmetics and they kindly sent over to me. This is their Dry Skin Double Butter. You all, let me tell you, this is amazing. Simple ingredients, they're literally listed on the package. It's shea butter, cocoa butter and coconut oil this is a true body butter you all this is made for dry skin but it's not greasy it's thick but it's not greasy it's really amazing and for my people that are a little bit more sensitive i have to say this you all they don't have anything in this like there is absolutely nothing on here check it out it's just so fascinating to me this is what the product looks like on the inside and i'm gonna take a little bit out as you can see i have been using it <laughs> This is what it looks like. It is very, very thick. And you do have to warm it up to moisturize your skin. And but most importantly, you all, look, it's not greasy. It's not greasy. And I just have to emphasize that. So Ancient Cosmetics is amazing for that. They have a whole lot of other products. They have a lot of body care, different soaps. They have other body butters. They have some that are scented on their website. But for me, this was right up my alley because this season change has been sucking the moisture out of my skin, especially my feet. <laughs> and this stuff has been a help. I put this on at night and I put it on in the morning after my shower. But yes, I cannot emphasize the dry skin double butter enough. And I'm very grateful that yes, I have two of them. So again, special shout out to Ancient Cosmetics. And they also have a lot of sales on their website. It's very affordable, great customer service. And again, thank you to the brand Ancient Cosmetics for sending these over because yeah, your girl actually needed this and I love this stuff. <laughs> All right, now moving back onto the fragrances. The next one we're gonna talk about, this one, such a moment. This is from Guerlain and this is Angelique Noir. You all, this is a scent that has been a buzz in the fragrance community. It really needs no introduction, but I had to see what the hype was all about. And yes, check it out. I picked up a bottle of Angelique Noir. And as you all remember, I had my bottle customized, so you know it's real. And what I must say, you all, I have been looking for a unique vanilla for fall because I was getting bored with my other vanillas at the moment. But let me tell you this. This is an elegant, sophisticated vanilla. It's just wow. Wow. I understand the hype. This is amazing. This was my absolute favorite out of the ones I smelled while it grew on, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm over here just sniffing the bottle. Let me like spray it actually so I can have a moment. <laughs> It's a vanilla, but it has a little greenness to it. So unique, but it's like powdery and creamy at the same time. Wow. Again, Angelique Noir, you all. Yes. <laughs> Just yes. And it's been a long time since I picked up one from this brand, but I cannot believe it. It is here and you will understand once I show you what I'm talking about, you all. And this is from Tom Ford. I know, right? Hello, old friend. We love you. And this is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. 
I know y'all are like, wait a minute, wait, excuse me? I'm confused, huh? I know, we'll talk about it in a later video, don't worry. But yes, here it is, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. This is a bestseller. This is a scent that's not new by any means. It's been around and it's been hyped. Men love it, women love it, everybody loves it. And I decided to, you know, get into it. <laughs> Very much a soft, tobacco-y vanilla. In fact, this smells like a craft drink you would get at Starbucks, to be honest. And I love coffee, so, wow. Wow, it really took fall heating to understand this. I'm gonna leave it at that, you all, but, mm, this is unique. And I understand why there's a following over this. Mm -hmm. Again, that is Tom Ford's Tobacco Vinny. And the last fragrance we're gonna talk about, this is from Bond number nine. <laughs> I know, right? And this is B9. Get into that silhouette. Very chic, very minimalistic. I like it. And as always, when you open it, there is your fragrance, B9. And yeah, this is everything. It's a very deep, dark purple. The light has to shine on it, otherwise the bottle looks black. But yeah, this right here, I told you all, it moved me. Last time I smelled it, and I was like, oh yes, this is everything. Two notes stick out in this fragrance without me even looking at it. Saffron and Oud. Hands down, this is a going out fragrance. This is not a office scent. This is not a, oh, I'm just running errands. No, this is, I'm going to turn heads and shut it down. Oh, wow. Wow, again, this is another one that is not talked about enough. This is an unsung hero, you all, from Bond. Wow. Sexy. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Yes, this is a night on the town here. Oh yes, oh yes. This is giving me holiday party. This is giving me New Year's Eve night. This is what this is giving. Again, Bond number nine's B9. Oh, you would definitely begin a dedicated review on that fragrance because yeah, wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Bond number nine's B9. So, all right, elves, that wraps up this edition of a fragrance haul. My latest fragrances I've added to the collection, however you want to phrase it. But yes, let me know what you think. <laughs> Do you own some of these fragrances? Do you, have you smelled some of them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Give me your thoughts. As always, everything will be in the description box below. Again, special shout out to Ancient Cosmetics for sending over their body butters for me to play in because yeah, I'm addicted to them now, obsessed. And I have their website linked as well so you can check them out at your own leisure. But as always, Els, if you're digging me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for the content, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not here for any of this, I understand that is okay. You don't want to smell good. But until next time, Els, I will catch y'all next video. Bye, y'all.